Welcome to the Scrolliseum. These talented trainers are about to face off to see who's the best at creating champion characters with unusual skills. Will the underdogs take down the heavy favorites? It's time to get champed up! In this first step, the trainers will be prompted to draw and name a particular type of champion character. They'll be equipped with two tools, a pen for drawing and a thick marker for coloring in. Once a character is drawn and named, it can be submitted. The timer's been set. Off we go. Seconds remain, players need to name their character. Trainers are now moving on to creating a challenger. These characters will be the underdogs because their creators will see who they're competing against, but not what the contest will be. So they must analyze their opponent's unique skill set to create what they hope is a worthy challenger. Let's see the drama unfold.
It's time to name those characters. It's time for the main event. Our first opponent enters the ring. And in this corner we've got... These two will battle to see who is the champion of Razzle Dazzle. Welcome to Slam Town. Some extra cash goes to the underdog. Give him the old one two step ball change. In this corner, we've got. They'll be facing off against. We'll decide once and for all who is the champion of the backwoods. This might be over. That's incredible! Off grid and on point. Now entering the ring. And opposing them will be... One of them will be crowned the champion of neighbors. This has become a one-sided match. Howdy there! Next up it'll be... Versus. These two are facing off to see who is the champion of corporate. Oh, the humanity! It's time for some synergy. And that takes us to halftime. Here are the scores.
20 second warning. Name those characters. seconds remain. Players need to name their character. It's the second half, which means it's time for the tag teams. Each matchup will include a surprise contest where players can tag out their characters. The bonus points are doubled and votes for both contests will be cumulative. Let's start things off with our first two fighters. You will decide who is the champion of being disproportionate. It's not over yet. Here's the next title up for grabs. The champion of adult films. Will the trainers keep their characters or swap out? What a bitch, a whole new fight. is teamwork, folks. Two new fighters enter the ring. One of them will be the champion of danger. It's a Dramageddon. will declare a winner after this next match. The champion of losing custody. 
The trainers have a decision to make. Kapow! That's gotta hurt! Nothing can stop these two! Here's our next matchup. Who is the champion of DJs? This one's just about over. This next contest could swing things. A champion of smelling like Axe body spray. Will the players tag out? Let's find out. It's getting ugly. What a stud! It's time for our next bout. One of them will be the champion of CEOs. Oh dear, look away, look away. It all comes down to this next match. The champion of secret aliens. What will the trainers do? Let's see. That was below the belt. There's no I in team kids, only in kids. Okay, folks, that was the final match. The judges are tallying the final scores and... We have a winner! It's time, you're the favorite crowd cheers They can feel the drums pound like a heartbeat, let's go
Welcome to Blather Round. Y'all look so good on the outside, I can't wait to see the inside of your brain <laughs> from playing the game. Forget it. You're going to present a secret prompt, like Moby Dick. You'll describe it to everyone else with sentences like this one. Now, you can change some of these words, but your options are very limited. Everyone else will be guessing while you make more elaborate sentences. Oh, it's a lot like Free Willy 2. Moby Dick! Be fast to win big. And teamwork is rewarded. So talk out loud and work together. Let's begin. Okay, round one. On your device, there's a list of prompts. Pick the one you like. If you pick a harder prompt, you'll get more points if someone guesses it right. Now you're going to craft a sentence that describes your prompt. On your device, you'll see two word columns. Tap all the words you want to include in your sentence, and then tap Submit when you're finished. You can always change your mind. Just tap the word again to take it out. Guess what? You're going first. The category is place. You've all been places. This should be easy. It's a bland, basic, rectangle place. Now's the part where you submit Library. guesses on your device. That means everyone in the audience, too. In the meantime, the presenter School. will write another sentence. School. Sour pizza. It's where you assemble the cube. Factory. Cube the movie. It's kind of similar to factory. When the presenter uses your guess in a sentence, you get points. The factory. So much warehouse. A mini sentence for maximum impact. Amazon. Store. Walmart. It has the same vibe as Amazon. Mail. This place has an European design. Someone guessed the right answer. That was great. And everyone who contributed a helpful guess gets some points too. The category is thing. It's a soft body. And so it begins. Animal. Jelly roll. Won't you touch my hot body? Baby. It is the creature. It's a lot like animal. Cat. Sponge. Talk about pocket-sized. Oh, what a tasty sentence. Hamster. Bird. Starfish.
hamster. Dildo. You can always hit skip to get a new sentence with new words. Furby. Time is running out. Time to take some big swings. Pocket Mouse. It is the gimmick. Squirrel. Lamb chop. It's the kid-friendly version of cat. Time is almost up. Muppet. Oh, critter. Kitten. Dang, no one got it. How horribly, horribly, horribly shameful. Moving on. If you think they did a good job anyway, you can hit my bat on your device. The category is story. It's a story about a terrifying insanity. Here we go. Psycho. Frankenstein. And a fantastic occurrence. It's nothing like Frankenstein. Signs. The Blair Witch Project. Why? A not critter. Oh, what a tasty sentence! Movie. Look. It's kind of similar to Harry Potter. The Hobbit. Aragorn. Game of Thrones. The hero requires the book. Lord of the Rings. You haven't got long left. Evil Dead. Never ending story. Princess Bride. Only a few seconds left. <laughs> well, you can't win them all. You didn't win this one specifically. You'll be our last presenter this round. The category is a story. It's a story about a fantastic cute somebody. Time to begin. Shrek. Frodo. Johnny Depp. And a cute maiden being. Princess Bride. Cinderella. Princess Peach. It's kind of similar to Cinderella and Princess Peach. The Little Mummy. Princess Fiona. Disney. Whoa. An animated skirt, madam. That sentence is a beauty! Snow White. Aladdin. My 
Ana. It's a different genre than Snow White, Aladdin, and Cinderella. The timer stops for no one. Get those guesses in. The hero has the cat. It's almost over. Keep guessing. Trick. Now that you know the answer, don't you wish you knew the answer before? I don't know, sometimes I have deep thoughts. It's time for the points! Look at all those numbers! They certainly mean things in relation to each other. You bet! Round two! Let's do this all over again! The points are doubled! Same challenge, new prompts, choose wisely. If you're having... Write a sentence to describe your new prompt. Did you know that you can scroll the lists up and down? You might have more words than you think. Once again, you're up. The category is person. They're a smart human. Let's get the presentation started. Einstein. 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 Da Vinci. They are known for the science. Darwin. Brainiac. Bill Nye. Tyson. Neil deGrasse. He's so stupendous. What a sweet little sentence. Boa. Tyson food dinners. They're a lot like Bill Nye, Tyson, and Neil deGrasse Sagan. Carl Sagan. Newton. Known for the planetary body. Okay, the Incredible Store called and they said, are you merchandise in the Incredible Store? Because that was incredible. The category is place. It's a not small masculinity place. Off you go. Jim. Jim. I know. It's where you look for the season lighting. Jim. Jim. Walmart. Forest. Academy. Walgreens. It's kind of similar to Walmart. Target. Costco. Walmart. Sada. So much juhiki. What a sweet little sentence. So Bam! 
Damn, you destroyed that round. The category is place. It's a fantastic magic belief. Here we go. Church. Jesus Christ. The Vatican. Christianity. Magic. Judaism. It's where you meet the bunch. Taoism. Funeral. Maoism. Magic school bus. Bunch of cunts. It's a lot like magic. Hogwarts. Johnson's. Hogwarts. So much island. Why that sentence could fit in the palm of my hand. Treasure Island. Islands of assholes. Gulu Gulu Island. It's the fictional version of Treasure Island. We're nearing the end. Guess, guess, guess. I've never seen such a caring application of nouns. You are the poet of party gamers. The last presentation is upon us. The what is aware? You're guessing a place. It's a fast place. And we're off. Sonic. Race track. Randy. It's where you consume the corporation. McDonald's. It's a lot Sonic. like Sonic. So much brand. McDonald's. Oh, look how little that sentence KFC. is. I love him. It's a lot like fast food. Subway. Let's see those points! Our marvelous, fabulous winner is... Congratulations! Thanks for playing! Bye! Let's all promise to meet back up here in 10 years, okay? Promise?
Congratulations, fellow demons. You and your family have been selected to take part in our groundbreaking demon-human relations program. You'll be living among the humans and taking part in the pointless and highly stressful rituals of mortal life. Don't say I didn't warn you. In case it wasn't obvious, each of you has a family role, parent, teen, or child. That role will affect what you can do around the house, so take note of it. And if you want to freshen up your look, use your device to cycle through your options. Your new life awaits. As you're assigned Demon Relocation Specialist, excellent, you're going to see a list of tasks appear on your device. You know, mow the lawn, muck out the gutters, stand in the garage and sigh. These are normal chores humans do every day. No one knows why. Complete these tasks and you'll earn points for the family score. Keeping the family score high is your number one priority. If you end the week with a low family score, you'll get a failing grade. And the boss downstairs will not be happy with you. Or me. I suggest you work together to do as many tasks as possible. Some tasks require teamwork, so don't be afraid to yell when you need a hand. But there's also a prize for the individual that earns the most points. They'll be rewarded with a human-style trophy to lord over the rest of the family, the coveted World's Bestest Devil Mug. Last thing, tasks with this symbol are selfish tasks. They don't help the family at all, and doing too many causes an emergency that can be catastrophic to the family score. However, they're worth a ton of points to those devilish enough to get away with them. Just saying. Got all that? Good. Now, let's see today's human challenge. The Bigger Bang. While studying astronomy, the youngest member of the house discovers a giant asteroid on a collision course with Earth. Can the family stop it in time and still get through their daily chores? That's your challenge for the week. Challenge tasks look like this. They're worth more points, and doing all of them is the only way to get a perfect grade. So don't screw them up. Good luck! Day one begins now. A challenge task has just appeared on the list. They're the most important tasks of the day, so grab them quick. A challenge task is now on the list. Don't miss it. A member of the family is asking for help with a task. 
If you need someone older or younger to help with the task, let your fellow family members know. A task for this week's challenge just appeared. Well, well, looks like someone's being selfish. When you hear this sound, that means one of the family has given in to their devilish nature. A task to stop them will appear on your device, but you have to act fast. Acting selfish fills the meter, eventually leading to a family emergency. But it's worth a bunch of points, if you can stay under the radar. A challenge task has been added to the list. Just a heads up. The day's half done and you need to get your family score past this threshold. Work together to finish as many high scoring tasks as you can before time runs out. The day's nearly done. Better finish what you're working on. Another selfish act has begun. If I were you, I'd grab the task to stop it. Or just publicly shame the perpetrator. As my study of mortals has told Another day in the books. Let's see how you're doing. Here's today's family score. You failed to reach the threshold for the day, which means we're about to hear from our overlords. Well, the Earth was destroyed. Hope you hadn't gotten too attached. We are disappointed to report that you failed...
I hear the sounds of selfishness. The day's half done. Pick up the pace before time runs out. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's selfish actions have caused a family emergency. You've all got to work together to end the emergency, and the whole family loses points until you do. Better hurry! Everybody pitch in to stop this emergency! The day is almost over. Finish those tasks quick. Just watching that was exhausting. Let's check your progress. Here's your current family score. Respectable, but nothing to write home about. Remember to pay attention to the tasks that are worth the most points and work together to finish team tasks quickly. Let's see who's in the lead.
These family members did the most selfish tasks. Remember, selfish acts...